I'm doing something different for the TPR. The TPR? <laughs> Let me try that again. Pull the pepper roll. <laughs> I'm doing something different for my TBR video this month because I saw Haley Fam do this and it looks super fun. Also, it's literally September 4th and I'm just not filming this. I've already read two books this month. So, and a reading vlog is coming about that. I'm vlogging some reading vlog thoughts because I read the best book I've ever read in my life. Anyways, that'll be coming later this week. So basically, I have some books in mind that I wanna get and we're gonna go to Books a Million, maybe get some of them. I have two specifically in mind I definitely want to get. The other ones I might read on my Kindle. I have an ARC I want to read. A book that's coming out September 20th, Sarah Adams' new book. I already pre-ordered it though, so I'm very excited for that book to come, but I love when I pre-order a book. It's like Christmas because I've already paid for it, you know? Anyways, we're going to Books Million. It's Sunday. I'm so excited. Oh, there's literal chickens. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to film some clips on my phone. I'm so excited. And then probably tomorrow or Tuesday, I will do a little haul and then share more of my TBR. I feel like I don't have a long list of my TBR because I'm trying to get myself to read fall books and my brain's like fall books. Like I should read that because it's September. My heart says romance. So, but you can read fall books that are romance, but like, you know, it's just not the vibe right now. So maybe I can look up some like romance folly books and maybe read some of those this month. So we're gonna do some book shopping, TBR, a haul. to do a haul and a TBR. I'm so excited. I tried to do a little less books this month than I did last month because it's just unrealistic. Not in the sense that I wouldn't read that many books, but because I know myself and I know there's gonna be books that I like learn about this month that I wanna read over books that are on my TBR. So I need to just like stop giving myself so many of my TBR videos. But I just like doing these, these are so fun. I feel like this list that I've made is more realistic and I honestly feel like I'm gonna get through quite a lot of these books because they've been on my radar, I really want to read them, and a couple of them I've already read, so I'm so excited. Let's get into it. First, what I bought at Books A Million. I'm so excited about these. I have been wanting to read them for a while, but I wanted the physical copies because I obviously read books on my Kindle a lot and like the Addicted series and things like that, I like reading on my Kindle. One, because they're insanely cheaper and also I just they're very hard to find, but these books, I had a feeling I was really gonna like them, so I bought the physical copies. I'm so excited. Let's get started. First is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I've seen a lot about this book. First of all, the cover is so cute. Big fan. This one is very different than books I normally read. It's about a ghost writer who falls in love with a ghost, which when I heard that, I was like, that does not sound like something I wanna read at all. But I've heard such good reviews about it and people that said they weren't sure about it either really enjoyed it. So I thought I would give it a shot. And also it's very fun for fall. I hear it's like a very fun fall read and I just love the cover. Anyways, I'm very excited. It was so cute. And it was literally the last one at my books a million. So if you live near me, I'm sorry. If you wanted this book, I bought it. Even the Goodreads reviews are so good about this book. So I'm very excited. The next book you definitely have heard of and that is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I've been wanting to read this for so long. Honestly, probably like over a year because last year I read a good bit of, last year or 2020, I read a good bit of Colleen Hoover books. I read I'm Regretting You, November 9th. Is that it? I read It Ends With Us this year. I don't know. Anyways, I've been wanting to read this book, but I knew what it was about and I was just like not sure if I was ready to get my heart broken, but I think I'm ready. I'm so excited to read this. Also, I have been wanting to get this for a while, but the cover on Amazon is still the old cover with people on it and the Books a Million cover is obviously the new one, which I really like more because I don't like people on my book cover, so I like the new cover. So that's why I got a Books a Million and I hadn't bought it on Amazon, but basically it's about like a marriage and you see them when they first got together and met, and then seven years later when they're struggling in their marriage. It says, can a love story with a perfect beginning survive a lifetime between two imperfect people? It just sounds very good. I know Colin Hoover books literally wreck you, and I think I'm ready. I think this is gonna be the next book that I read because I'm just very excited about it, and I think it's gonna be so good. Also, when we read Books a Million, the 
person that was working there literally was like restocking all of Colleen Hoover books because so many people buy these and I do love them. I think Colleen Hoover's such a great author, but then also there's so many other books that I love that are not Colleen Hoover, but I'm very excited to see how this one is. Probably going to read it this week, honestly. And those are the books I got at Books Million. They're so beautiful. I'm so excited about them. Now let's get into other books that I don't own or are like ARCs or something like that. I have a few ARCs that I want to read this month. So first, I have a couple that I've already read. The first one is Hot House Flower by Kristen Becker Ritchie. This is the fifth book in the Addicted slash Callaway Sister series. It's about Rack and Daisy and I will not say anything else about it, but if you follow my bookstagram, you already know my thoughts on it. I can't wait to find out how that one is. You go get my review and my reading wrap up. And then next is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Oh my goodness, I got an arc on NetGalley for this book. And if you know me, you know I love Abby Jimenez's books. They were all five stars. All her books are just so good. And I was just so excited about this one. One of my friends on Bookstagram had already read it. So I knew it was so good because she loved it. And then I read it. And I'm filming a reading vlog and I share my thoughts. So I'm not gonna say much about it, except that is literally the best book I've ever read. I'm so excited that book doesn't come out till next April. And I will be talking about it until then. Like, it will be my personality for the next seven months. Okay, now let's move on to books that I have not read. Next is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is her new release in September. It comes out September 20th, and I'm so excited. I pre ordered it from the bookshop in Nashville. I get like a doodled, signed, fun copy. I'm so excited to get that in the mail and to read it. I love Sarah Adams. Her books are so good, and I cannot wait for this one. I've heard so many good things. So many people I follow have arcs and they loved it so much so i'm so excited to read it and she's already announced another book in the series that's coming out next year so i'm just so excited next is the bodyguard by katherine center i've seen quite a few people talk about this book and i thought about buying it last month but i didn't but i really want to read it it's like this girl who's a bodyguard for a celebrity or something but they fake date to pretend that it's that she's not the bodyguard. I don't really know, but it sounds very good. And I've also heard that it's closed door. So I'm so excited to read that. Next is With Love from London by Sarah. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say her last name. I literally cannot speak. But it was actually Books a Million the other day and I saw this book. I just was perusing the romance section and saw this book and it looked so interesting. I almost bought it, but I was like, I don't know. I already had these two books in mind and I did not need to buy another one. I tried to go into Books a Million already knowing what I want. So I don't buy books that I don't need that I haven't heard anything about because I want to make sure I buy a book that I know I'm probably gonna love, you know, with these two books, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love. But anyways, it sounded so good. It's about this girl who goes back to London because her mom had like a bookstore that she owned and she's just trying to find out more about her family. I don't know, it sounded super good and I looked at the Goodreads reviews and they were pretty good. So I really wanna read it. It sounded very interesting and I love a book based in London and like Europe. So fun to read. Next, I want to read Thrive by Kristen Becker Ritchie. I think it's the sixth book in the Addicted slash Callaway Sister series. And it's about Lily and Lo. I want to read one book a month from the series to try to take it slow. But since I already read one this month, I put another one on my TBR because I very likely could get to it. And I'm really excited about it. I have, I guess, five left, which is crazy. But the next two books are about Lily and Lo. And I haven't obviously read about them in a while because I've been reading about Connor and Rose and Daisy and Reich. So I'm very excited to read this. And I think it's just the point of view of those two books from Lily and Lo's point of view. So I'm very excited to see how that one is. And then I have a couple arcs that I've been either sent or got accepted to read on NetGalley. So I'm going to share those. Even though they're not out yet, you will get my reviews of them. I try to put my arcs pretty high on my priority list because obviously I was given the book to read in exchange for a review, which is so kind. And I feel so thankful. So I want to make sure to read those pretty quickly. So first is On the Line by Amanda Chaperone. Honestly, I haven't heard much about this author and I haven't heard much about this book. I don't know where I saw it, but I filled out a thing to get an arc and then I got it in my email. So honestly, I'm not sure about it, but I think it's the second book in a series, but I don't think I have to read the first one to understand the second one. I don't know much about it, except it's a romance. So I'm excited to see how it is. And then this one I just got accepted to read literally this morning and it's Before I Do by Sophie Cousins. She wrote this time last year and haven't we met yet or something like that. I read this time last year and I loved it. It was such a good book, really enjoyed it. And I'm very excited about this one. I was scrolling through my net galley and I saw this book and it sounded so interesting. It's like she's about to get married and then she runs into a past love, which intrigued me. So I requested it and I got accepted today and I'm very excited to read to see how it is. I feel like this is gonna be a really good book and I kind of wanna read her other one too. And then lastly, I have a Christian book that I wanna read this month. I feel like I've been slacking on my nonfiction reads, like Christian reads, because I've just been reading a lot of romance, but I heard about this book this month and it sounded 
so good so i wanted to read it it's called lead like it matters by craig rochelle he is a pastor for i forget the church life church i think it was called but one of my pastors was talking about it and it sounded so good so i wanted to read it i love like leadership christian books so that's my nonfiction christian read of the month that i want to read i kind of want to buy it but i already did them on my kindle we shall see i love getting like christian books and like owning them because you're able to go back and read them so i forgot to say i had this book on my nightstand because i really want to read it this month it was on my tbr last month i did not get to it so i'm hoping to get to this one as well so I'm adding this also to my TBR, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've already read it, but I want to reread it. So hopefully I'll get to this book as well. That is my TBR this month. All these books I'm like very excited to read. I want to read very soon. So hopefully I will get to most of my TBR this month. But who knows? We shall see. Anyways, that is my TBR for this month and a little book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this style of like going to shop for the books and then showing you them. I thought it was super fun. Let me know what you want to read this month or if you've already read something this month, let me know. I would love to hear. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Saturday here on YouTube. I also have an Instagram. I post stuff over there and then I have a book Instagram, which I am so active on. I have so much fun and I have just so many new friends on bookstagram. It's literally the best time, especially if you like these videos. I feel like you would like my bookstagram because it's just more in depth and I post over there literally so much. Anyways, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so thankful for you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.